name of the Lord. I the children of the Most High God praise the King of Kings. Hallelujah. It is a precious thing to be a place like this. Yes. I first of all want to thank the Almighty God who made it possible for me and my family to be a chosen. Amen. That is the greatest thing that ever happened to me and my generation. Uh, uh, I want to uh, testify how God of choosing brought my wife from well. My wife mistakenly found himself inside the well. At that point, because nobody followed her, she declared herself a choosing that she cannot die there. And the angel come from nowhere and hook her and brought her out. To the praise the name of the Lord. What a mighty God. We Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brethren, our God is alive. Imagine a woman who slips into the well, and as she falls into the well, angel. Oh, this God. You are the great being. And as she declared that she is a chooser, an angel brought her out without any without the support of any human being. What a great God. Praise the Lord. Now, amen. This is exactly what I was telling you before the testimony. That God has done so many things that if we start taking the testimonies, we will not go. Am I right? And you can see the witnesses today. And at the end of this message, eh, if you wish to remain here till tomorrow, the testimony continues. Praise the Lord. So, I want to let you know our God has done many, many things in time past. He has done it for me. He has done it for you. He has done it for so many people, uncountable number of people. In fact, everywhere I travel overseas, all over the world, you must hear a testimony of what happened here. All over the world. You will hear a possibility that took place here, but because they had no, no time to testify, they travel out. But whenever we got there, they will testify. And I want to let you know, God of choosing has done so many things. And to let you know that his promises must surely come to pass. And if you look at your Bible, in the book of Psalm 40, verse 1, and I read, I don't know what you are going through as you are here today. No matter the problem, the God whom I serve with all my heart, He will see you through. Yeah. So, chapter 40, verse 1. And this shall be your testimony today. Yeah. He said, and I read. Chapter 40, verse 1. I waited patiently for the Lord and inclined unto me and had my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit. I don't know the pit you are into. He brought the woman out of the pit of well. And there was a woman here that gave us testimony of 26 years barrenness. And she has been here from the inception of this church for last year. God answered her and brought her out of a horrible pit of barrenness. And after 26 years, she has a bouncing baby. I don't know the problem you have. Today, God is bringing you out of horrible pit. And out of slippery ground, Mary Claire rising and falling. Look at that place. He said, And he brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of a Mary Claire, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. He see you, he will bring you out. Out of horrible pit, out of Mary Claire, out of rising and falling, out of promises and fear. And he will establish your family, establish your business, 
establish your future establish your career can i hear you say amen now look at verse three and he has put a new song in my mouth even praise unto our god many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the lord in fact what god will do for you new commands and old commands many will see it and they shall fear and what god will do for you you will sing a new song are you hearing me and all those people that mocked you before they will bow before you they will see what god has done in your life and they will fear and all those that mock you they will close their mouth so some of them will open their mouth they will not know what to say again they will say take me where you went to praise the lord so i don't know what you are going through today god will give you freedom he that did it before for the psalmist he that fulfilled his promises for abraham isaac and jacob for many in time past he will fulfill the promise he made to us he will do it again he said i come that you might have life i have it more abundantly in fact abundance of life shall be your portion so therefore get ready get ready now as you believe god that never fails he will change your situation i say he will change your situation and look at your bible in some i mean look at mark chapter 9 verse 23 mark chapter 9 please look at your bible mark gospel i'm reading chapter 9 from verse 23 or let's read verse 23 he said jesus said unto him if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believe it how many things from a to z i don't know what you're looking for what you just have to do at the end of this preaching now is in matthew chapter 7 verse 7 matthew chapter 7 i'm reading verse 7 it says as what happened I didn't hear you, sister. As it shall be given unto you. And he says, Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Verse 8. For everyone that asketh, receive it. He see you today. Whatever you ask from the Lord today, He will do it for you. I don't know what you are passing through. All I want to show you, God is not parochial to his gift. He will not give to this person. I will not give to the other. He will give it to you. Everybody that he said, he said, for everyone that asked, which means you, inclusive, I, inclusive, the little people that open, the little children that open their mouth and ask today, they shall receive anybody that is passing on the road and had me and asked today he shall receive he see you that is here today you will surely receive in jesus name and don't forget no matter what they are passing through say call upon me in the day of trouble and i will answer thee and thou shall glorify me he said today 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 god will answer you i said today god will answer no matter the problem you are into as you call upon god as you are going to pray today my god will answer you and you glorify him in jesus name and so finally finally for those who are not born again that's the big barrier between you and the blessings of god i want to understand that if you are not born again you are away from his promises from his kingdom from his blessings because his blessing belongs to his people and i want you to understand that what you need to do today as one that is not born again is to repent and confess your sins and promise god no more if you have a slider you return to the father with broken heart brokenness of heart and ask for mercy for your sins the father will receive you back if you're a hypocrite a compromiser you make up your mind no more you repent with all your heart confess your sins and say lord i am sorry 
message I'll be shown to you. Search your life. My brothers and sisters who are here, one thing that is very certain is this. It is never the will of God that any soldier perish. He loves you. He wants to give you salvation. And he wants to give you all things. But remember, if you are outside his will, if you are living in sin, he cannot give you those things. Because it, don't belong to him. it doesn't belong to him as a child of God. And some of you may be asking, now, what can I do in order to be born again? Or you're among those ladies or women that put attachment and wave on and palming. It is abomination before God. You don't need attachment. You don't need paint. You don't need palming. If you do that, evil spirit cannot leave you alone. They will be tormenting you. I mean, you are ways. And if you are among those people that when you sew your dress as a woman, you open your chest, your tummy, your armpit, you expose your labs, expose your nakedness. I want to let you know a Christian is not a seducer. And a seducer is not a Christian. Cover your body properly. Where the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Cover your body. I want you to understand. If you look at the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 30, it said, When they are spoiled, what shall they do? Though they go after painting, after ornament. Whenever a woman has spoiled, she will begin to make call. Even if it's a mama of 70 years, she will dress like a, a prostitute. And then young men of 20 years will just be stopping her on the road and calling her, um, um, baby, baby, where are you going? Is it not abomination? Please cover your body properly. Well, imagine people calling you prostitute. I mean their ways. And I want to let you know, all these young men that put Jericho, rough hair, scattered hair and play their hair like women it is abomination before god you don't need it at all at all or you put chains and rings and cross on your neck my friend you don't need it that is evil you don't need anything like that christ is no longer on the cross therefore gather those things and burn them and stop that uh, plating of head because that's abomination before god and if you're among those women Wearing trousers or men's garment, or you are among those men that wear, you know, skirt and blouse, dressed like women. That is a sign that you are possessed. That is sin and a horrible abomination before God. And no wonder the Bible said in Deuteronomy 22, verse 5, Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5, it says, A woman, the woman should, shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination of the Lord thy God. If you are dressed like a man and you are a woman, you are an abomination unto God. And if you are a man dressed like a woman, you are equally an abomination. So, from today, I mean you are ways. And the Lord will bless you. Remember? The Bible said in Revelation 21, 27, and I read to you, Revelation chapter 21, verse 27, the Bible said, Nothing that worketh the abomination nor defy that shall enter the kingdom of God. If you are among those that work abomination, you can never enter heaven. And if you look at verse 8, Revelation 21, verse 8, it says, But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable, and murderers and homongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars to have their part in the lake which burn with fire and brimstone which is the second death all these abominable people shall be cast into hell fire i pray that you shall never be dead i pray that you shall make amend their ways and remove all the makeup and all those evil and the lord will deliver you in jesus name remember 
in the in the book of Exodus chapter 12 verse 13, God said, When I see the blood, I will pass over you. And in John chapter 3, verse 16, he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth he should not perish, but have everlasting life. Christ has paid the price of your sin. If only you will repent today and accept me as the Lord as a personal savior, salvation shall be yours. Remember, in John chapter 19 verse 30, he said, It is finished. When he shed the blood, he said, It is finished. I want to let you know, Christ has shed the blood. He has offered his blood as a sacrifice for sin. And that is the end of all sacrifices for sin. That's why he said, It is finished. And no wonder he said, in Matthew chapter 11, 28, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And that's why he said, in John chapter 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. And so my sisters and brothers, if you want to be saved today, and you want to be born again today, you need to come to the Father through Jesus Christ. And your sins shall be washed away. Remember? The Bible said in John chapter 10, verse 10b, Jesus said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And in John chapter 8, verse 30, he said, If the Son therefore shall make you free, what happened? You shall be free indeed. And so you need salvation of your sin through Jesus Christ. And that's what the Bible said in John chapter 1, verse 1. Please open your Bible. John Gospel, chapter 1, verse 12. And the Bible says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. As many as received who? To them gave he power. Power of sonship. Power of transformation. Power that changes you. You become a new creature. If you look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, it said, Therefore, look at it. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. The moment you encounter Jesus as your Lord, as your personal Savior, there shall be transformation. You shall become a new creature. The thing you used to do before, the evil you used to do before, you will do them no more. You will find grace, power to live the life that pleases God. No wonder the apostles said, Apostle Paul said, By the grace of God, I am what I am. As you surrender to Jesus today, that grace to live holy life, righteous life, to please God, to live life free from sin, that grace shall be given to you. Can I hear you say amen? amen. Remember, in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, the apostle said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. Which means, by the grace of God, we shall live holy life. Through Jesus Christ, we shall live life of purity. We shall not compromise our Christian life. And so, surrender to Jesus today. I'm assuring you, your life will change. You will live holy life. Remember, God demands for it. He said, you shall be holy. For I, the Lord your God, I am holy. And he said, without holiness, no eyes shall see the Lord. And I believe that everybody here wants to see the Lord at the end of your life. Am I right? Everybody here wants to have the Lord by you all throughout your life until you rapture take place. Am I right? Therefore, make sure nothing is standing between you and God. Surrender to Jesus today and make you your Lord, your personal Savior. You shall become a new creature and the heavenly candidate. And you shall be totally free. And the presence of God will be with you. And all the promises that God made to you shall be fulfilled in Jesus' name. And all those that affliction and trouble, you shall see them no more. If you believe it, say amen. amen. Finally, in Romans chapter 10, verse 13, it says, Whosoever, look at your Bible, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. Look 
at it whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved do you want to be saved please answer me if you call upon God in repentance today I'm assuring you salvation shall be yours the power to live the Christian life shall be given unto you and today all the blessings of God shall be fulfilled in your life for the Bible said in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you are you ready for these things to be given you now rise up and confess your sins renounce them and promise God no more and surrender to Jesus make you a lot your best honor Savior today will mark the beginning of happy days in your life the beginning of joyful years in your life the beginning of reigning with Christ in life the, the beginning of blessings all blessings from heaven upon your life in Jesus name open your mouth and pray everybody he has done it before he will do it for you everybody pray everybody everybody pray with all your heart confess all your sin no more stealing no more adultery no more fornication no more abortion no more fighting no more forgiveness no more bitterness no more pride no more anger no more cheating no more evil no more courtism secret court or open court marine court any kind of court no more no more going to native doctors but you may see forgive me for all the wickedness which I have committed in time past cleanse me O God watch me in the blood of Jesus make me pure make me pure transform my life make me a new creation in you O Lord save me save me save me everybody pray no more masturbation and smoking and drunkenness no more prostitution no more lying no more hatred no more anger lord show me mercy everybody pray everybody everybody Sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Father, I am sorry, Lord. Oh, Lord, I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Jehovah. Oh, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Jehovah, oh Lord, I'm sorry, Lord, sorry, Lord, Father, oh Lord, I want my time. Sorry, Lord, Father, oh Lord, eyes closed and head bow. Everybody, I want to pray for a young man here. Today is the first day you are coming to this church, but you are into armed robbery, killing people, and there's so many evil. If you will raise your hand up today, I will break the power in your life. And the grace to live the life that pleases God will be given to you. 
Can I see that hands or whatever you are? Remember today, God, I remembered you. God bless you there. I'm still waiting for somebody. God bless you. God bless you. Now, I want to pray for you that I've been smoking in their hair. Can you raise your hand and pray for you also? Eyes closed and head back. And you that have been committing masturbation, keep your hands up. That person that is wearing charms in your body, keep your hands up and pray for you. Eyes closed and head back. When you go come through that charm away, that, that person that belongs to secret court, raise your hand up and say, Lord, no more. Keep your hands up and pray for you. I'm also praying for the have unforgiving heart. Keep your hands up and say, I will forgive from today and God will forgive you. That person is always angry, full of bitterness. Keep your hands up. And you that are into prostitution, keep your hands up and pray for you. Ask God to show you mercy. And you that commit adultery, keep your hands up. And that lady that commit abortion, keep your hands up and say, I will never commit abortion any longer. Eyes closed and head bow. Ask God to show you mercy. All of you that are involved in fighting, that is wickedness before God. Keep your hands up and say that I will not do it any longer. And you that is involved in kidnapping, keep your hands up and say no more. God, show me mercy. I will never try it again in my life. And the Lord will show you mercy and deliver you. Keep your hands up. That person that is into secret court, please keep your hands up. I'm breaking that yoke today. Eyes closed, head bowed. I want you to, if you want to give your life to Jesus this afternoon, keep your hands up. I want you to say this after me. Almighty God, I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I confess that I'm a sinner. I am very sorry for all my sins. Lord, I promise you, I will never continue in those sins any longer. From today, I confess and I believe that Jesus Christ died for me. He shed his precious blood for me. And he was buried. And on the third day, he rose again for my justification. Almighty God, use the blood of Jesus Christ. Watch my sins away from my heart. Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my personal Savior. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Give me power to sin no more. In Jesus' name I pray. Can I hear you say amen? I'm sorry now. I surrender all to Jesus, blessed Savior. I I surrender. Sing it again. Keep your hands up and pray for you. The merciful Father, the compassionate God, it is never your will that any soldier perish. Whatever these ones may have done against you, known and unknown to them, if you are wrought, remember mercy. Because mercy rejoices over judgment. Every judgment passed on them by your mercy, let it be cancelled. Father, from this afternoon, 
I present every one of them before you. Every yoke of power that makes them to do evil. By your authority, I pray that you. Let the power of sin be broken in their life in Jesus' name. Power of robbery. Power of kidnapping. Every power of abortion or prostitution. I command to be broken in Jesus' name. Every yoke of occultism. Every yoke of the powers of darkness. Every yoke of charm. I break the power in Jesus' name. From this afternoon, I claim their spirit, their soul, their body for Jesus. I pray, cancel the name in the book of death. Write the name in the book of life. Give them power to in Jesus name can I hear you say amen can I hear you shout big amen and it is amen in heaven choosing people and people who are hearing me today let not merriment what you see what to eat what to drink the things of the flesh let it not deceive us any more my friends one cowboy you get in a better way is better than 20 million in kidnapping and robbery. Did you hear me now? God will provoke all the sinners around you by your prosperity. And God said by the Holy Ghost, through the apostle, but my God shall supply all your needs, shall supply all your needs, spiritually, physically, materially, financially, academically, he shall supply all your needs. Even if you don't have faith, my faith is greater than your doubt. I pray that no evil shall be for you. Any man that rise against you, let that man be judged. Let the kingdom be judged. Let the powers be judged. Let that be victory for you in Jesus' name. Lord, I rebuke every power, every kingdom, every kingdom, every power, every spirit working against my people. I rebuke you. I command you get away in Jesus' name. All of you here expecting a miracle. God will begin with you. God will begin with you. In your marriage, you will see miracle. In your body, you will see miracle. In your family, you will see miracle. In your business, you will see miracle. In your head, you will see miracle. God is beginning with you. If you are among those people that are living a righteous life, and you want God to bless you, you are wasting your time. 